Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Peter Svidla and Levon Aronian. This is the game from the round 11 of the Candidates Tournament that was played in London in 2013. Aronian had to win this game to stay in the race for the first place. Let's have a look at the game. Peter Svidla had white pieces and he started with d4. Aronian played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, Nimso in the end defense. It is white move. e3 is the most popular move in this position. Queen to c2 is also very popular. So if bishop takes knight, white would recapture with the queen. In the game we have a3, forcing black to decide what to do with his bishop. This is known as the sameish variation of Nimzo Indian defense. Bishop takes knight, check. Pawn takes bishop. c5, e3. It is black to move. And black has a good choice of moves like castling, Knight to c6, d5, b6, and queen to a5. That is the move played in the game. Queen is attacking the pawn on c3. Bishop to d2, knight to e4. Bishop to d3 attacking the knight. Knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, d6, it is white move, knight to f3 is a move quite often seen. We have f4 by Svidla, and now knight to d7. Knight to c6 is the standard move. We have knight to d7, and now knight to f3. This position was seen in the game Susan Polgar and Lombardi in 1985. And Lombardi played knight to b6, and the game was drawn. In our game we have f5. Now, castling comes to mind. Svidla played e4. With this move, Svidla shows that he has great desire to win the game. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes on e4. Knight to f6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c2. Bishop to d7. Svidla castled kingside. Pawn takes pawn. And how should white recapture? With pawn, with knight, or with the queen? How would you recapture? If pawn takes on d4, then queen takes queen. And after knight takes on d2, black has equalized. In the game, we have a queen takes on d4. And now it is black to move. Pawn on d6 is under attack. And if queen to b6 is played, defending the pawn, perhaps we would have this continuation. Rook from f to e1. And after queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. And this position is good for white. So in the game, in this position, Aronian castled kingside, giving up the pawn on d6 and winning the pawn on c3. Svidla captured on d6 and Aronian captured pawn on c3, attacking the bishop. Bishop to d3, rook from a to d8, rook from a to c1, attacking the queen. Queen to a5, 
knight to e5. White knight is now extremely well placed. White has a better position. Bishop to c8, discovered attack on the queen. Queen to b4, queen takes queen on b4 is fine for white. So in the game we have queen to c7, c5, it is black to move. Knight to d5 comes to mind. And then after queen to e4, attacking pawn on h7, perhaps g6. Or g6 first, and then knight to d5. In the game, we have g5. This is very risky move, to put it mildly. It's only good if pawn takes pawn, then queen takes knight. Did Aronian lose his patience? Or he just couldn't find a satisfactory continuation? Svidla continued with c6. If pawn takes pawn, what happens then? The knight to c6 and that would be a disaster for black. Aronian played b5, avoiding the exchange. But white has a dangerous passed pawn. Also, have a look at the knight on e5. Knight looks like the star of the show. White bishop on d3 is better than black bishop on c8. White king is safer than black king. To survive, black needs a miracle. Miracles do happen. Let's see what happened in the game. Queen to e1. What is the purpose of this move? Queen is going to g3. Svidla is turning his attention to black king. Rook to d5. Queen to g3. This move shows the downside of g5 move played earlier. h6. Pawn takes pawn. Queen takes knight on e5. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Pawn takes knight. And white is a pawn up. White has two passed pawns. King to f7. Rook to f4. Rook to d8. Attacking the bishop on d3. Bishop to e4. Rook to d2. h4. Making the room for the king to go to h2. Also, h5 is on the menu and then bishop to g6. a5. Perhaps with the idea of playing b4 and creating a pass pawn. Rook to c3. Rook to e2 attacking the bishop on e4. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white. Are you ready? What did you find? Svidla played brilliant move. Bishop to g6 check. And Aronian played king to f8. What happens if king takes bishop? If king takes bishop, then f7 and the pawn would promote to queen. So Aronian played king to f8. Rook to d4. What is the threat? 
Let's play a random move. B4. What would you play now if you had white pieces? Rook to d8, checkmate. So in the game, Aronian played rook to d5. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook. Rook to c5. White rook has a feast. Rook to e1, check. King to h2. Rook to f1, attacking the pawn on f6. f7. b4. What happens if bishop to e6 is played? Let's have a look. If bishop to e6 attacking the pawn on f7, we would probably have this continuation. c7. King to g7. Pawn is promoted to queen. Bishop takes queen. Rook takes bishop. King takes bishop. Pawn is promoted to queen. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook. And white is winning. In the game we have b4. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Black has a passed pawn too. Rook takes on d5. King to g7. It is white to move. In this position, white played a move and black resigned. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Svidla played rook to d8 and Aronian resigned. In view of this continuation, king takes bishop, pawn is promoted to queen then, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, bishop is under attack, so perhaps bishop to a6, then c7, b3, pawn is promoted to queen, bishop takes queen, Rook takes bishop. B2. One move short of glory. Rook to b8. Pawn is promoted to queen. And now the obvious. Is that the obvious? No, this is not the obvious. Rook takes queen. Congratulations to Peter Svidla, who played this game brilliantly. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.